Hey, Jeff Howard here with Crazy Fly Kiteboarding, and we want to talk to you about the 2017 Raptor. Now, it's kind of hard for me because I've seen so many different variations of this board. We've had the Raptor, the Raptor Pro, and back to the Raptor. The thing about the Raptor is we've been working on it for many, many years, and Crazy Fly has made a few little changes here and there, and we've tested them. And I tell you, if there's a board out there and you want to ride highly aggressive, a good stiffness, give you all of that pop and feedback, the Raptor is that board. It has been built up, it's a little bit heavier um, to hold that load for the aggressive type ride. Now, what I wanna talk about it, what's new for 2017 mainly is what they call the Nano Glide. This is a surface, and if you feel this, it's a very, very soft, so I mean, uh, hard to feel, it's like a, uh, they say in the nano size, so if I run my fingers across, you've got tiny little ridges all over this, just thousands of them. And what that does is this water flow is gripping on top on, onto the board. It gets it to flow in a direction down on a very small scale, and it is pretty wild. It is once you get this board flying and riding, if the if this dual concave isn't enough, that nano glide just grabs a hold of that water, and the upwind ability is nuts. It is a really cool feeling. So that is something that they've been working on for the last uh, this last year, and they've come out with it and all their top end type boards. It starts here with the Raptor and goes up through their lineup. So a lot of people ask, what board is for me, and is it the Raptor? The Raptor, I'd like to tell, is someone is getting into the sport and wants something to grow with them and be a very aggressive type ride. The Raptor is that board. It will grow with you for a long period of time. It doesn't have all that highly aggressive, too much rocker, which some boards they call aggressive type boards to have. Um, it has a three stage type rocker and it pretty much has stayed the same for quite a number of years. And the reason is once you get that sweet spot and you get that flex pattern to stick to that right in that range of flexing, this board wants to skip across the water to high speed yet give you a lot of good turning in the tips. One thing that has been added here, as you can see, this is a 3D shaping, and that is not new for this year. That was new, I think, in the last year, but what that does, it gives you stiffness in between the straps where you highly load this board. It also has, the Raptor has an X cross carbon internally. And everybody goes, what does that do? Well, what happens when you're highly loading a board and you're pushing it really hard is sometimes when your feet are in each strap and you're torquing it, the board will actually get, cause a twist. And that will change this rail line, which is very, very important so it, on the flow of the water. So that torsional X carbon in, inside of this board keeps that board reduced flex when you're in a highly loaded situation. Now, it also gives you a lot of response down in the tips because this X carbon runs up into each one of these tips at both ends. There's a channel here at the tip. This is something different they've done in some of their lineups in the last couple of years. What that does is it tunnels that water right down through the tip and keeps it there longer. The longer it's loaded in there, what you'll come to find is you're gonna to have to push a lot of power into this board, but when you do, it's amazing the feedback you'll get from that pop, because that carbon comes up in here, as well as this channel, and when you push into it, it is amazing the way that comes and gives you that feedback. And like a lot of people ask us, do you get a lot of pop out of it? A lot of pop can be given out of this board, you just gotta put it in and be able to load it up. I'm a little smaller type rider, I say smaller, I'm a lighter weight, I love the 132. The 132 by 41 is one of my favorite type riding boards, but when I'm riding hard and aggressive with a lot of power, I love getting on the Raptor. The way this thing feels is amazing. Now, it comes equipped with the Hexa bindings, and the Hexa bindings have been out for the last couple years. They've definitely proven their worth. There's a lot of adjustability to them, which is something I like. Some people like the strap a little bit further back or a little bit further forward, as well as adjustability of angle. All of that is available uh, to you in the hex binding setup, as well as the toe in, toe out, however you want to adjust them. They've just given them way more adjustability. It comes with the razor fins. This is pretty standard. One thing I like about the razor fins, people ask, you know, in different fin makeups, if a fin is really, really stiff, what will happen is when you begin to push into a turn, they begin to cavitate and they stop that grip. You will see like in a surf fin and everything else, you get a little bit of flex in there 
when you're loading that, it allows that to bleed off before it cavitates, and that's something that they've done in the razor fin setup. And I really like that. Uh, this is a polycarbonate. It's not the, the uh, real heavy type fiberglass, just stiff, no give type fins. Um, the razor fins have definitely proven their worth, and we really like those as in a light setup. Anyway, it comes set up normally uh, just as you see it here. It comes with the handle, straps, pads. It comes with multiples of sizes. If you have ever any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call or give your shop a call to find out what board is right for you. But when it comes down to the Raptor, it's definitely a, a, an aggressive, intermediate to aggressive type of ride. Um, beginners will get on something like this and it would work for a while. You start going to need to ride with some speed, but it doesn't have that high rocker. It will work and it will grow with you. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here with Crazy Fly introducing you the 2017 Raptor.